I think I cracked Sarda. Somewhat. Now when I say I cracked Sarda, I'm also referring to a unique power she might gain later on in the series that might put her on the level of the Otsutsuki and I think it makes sense. My theory is that Sarda will gain access to Madara's Renegons. Now I know this might sound like a stretch but hear me out. Yes, Madara's Renegons were deactivated when he died since he only had the Sharingans activated. Well at least in the anime version of events. In the manga his eyes were greyed out similar to Itachi when he lost his sight. However we do know that this does doesn't mean that the eyes are dead as seen by Sasuke using Itachi's eyeballs to this day. This just means that the power was sealed off which is the downside to attaining such power as explained by Itachi but it can be reawakened by implanting that eye into the eye socket of another clansman which just means another Uchiha. Yes it doesn't have to be a sibling that was never stated to be the case. So whether we use the anime or manga continuity the eyes are still usable by another Uchiha clan member. As I mentioned earlier in addition to him no longer having the Shore Rengan, we also see that his Renegons mysteriously disappeared. However, just to clarify, this doesn't mean that he lost the Dojutsu since it was shown that Madara could deactivate and activate his Renegons whenever he wants to. As seen when he activated both his Renegons to absorb Naruto's Rasengan and when he later met Hashirama with only one of his Renegons activated. So we can come to the logical conclusion that Madara only having his Sharengans active at the point of death per the anime continuity wasn't because he lost his Renegons but more so because he was heavily fatigued and couldn't maintain using it. So let's say they were to implant Madara's eyes into Sarda, her Uchiha blood would reawaken Madara's eyes similar to what Sasuke did to Itachi's. Now it was explained by Kakashi in part 1 that they normally burn a ninja's body upon the point of death so that the corpse doesn't yield up the secrets to the skills the body wants. Held. In fact, the only reason why Tobirama didn't burn Madara's body the first time he died was because he wanted to unironically gain the secrets to Madara's powers. So while we can say that they likely burned Madara's body along with his eyes after the war, I would say it's more likely that they burned his body but kept his eyes. It would be rather foolish to destroy the eyes that have the ability to use the most powerful dojutsu in existence. And it's really easy to preserve these eyes as seen with Obito having jars filled with eyeballs of the Uchiha killed during the Uchiha clan massacre that happened over 8 to 9 years prior to this point. So it would be safe to say that they probably have those eyes locked away or they gave it to Orochimaru so that he could run experiments. Now that we've figured out how Sarada could get these eyes, let's go into how it can boost her power. Now we know that Renagon is made up of Hagoromo's 6 parts chakra which is why the only way to unlock the dojutsu is by merging Ashura and Indra's chakra to obtain Hagoromo's chakra as was the case for Madara or by getting the eye directly from Hagoromo himself which was the case for Sasuke as stated in the data books. This means that if Sarada gets Madara's Renegons she will receive a 6 paths chakra buff since the Renegon would supply chakra and power to her body. And we do know for a fact that Dojutsus do supply chakra as confirmed when Obito stated that the chakra and power from Madara's Renegons was too much for him to handle. We also have Sasuke stating that he can feel Itachi's power flowing into him after implanting Itachi's eyes and awakening the eternal Mangekyo Sharengan. On. This is backed up by Kakashi stating that he can feel the 6 paths chakra amp in Obito's eyes after Obito temporarily gave them back to him during the fight with Kaguya. So what Obito's situation proved is that it doesn't just work in one way. A dojutsu does amp your chakra and power but your chakra and power can also amp your dojutsu. As seen by Obito's regular Sharengan being amped by 6 paths chakra supplied to his body from Madara's Renegon. So it's kind of a circle jerk of sort. Now what this means is that not only are Madara's Renegon 6 paths amped they are also Tentails Jinshuriki amped and Hashirama's cell amped, as was Obito's right eye which is why he never went blind from using his Mangekyo Sharengan even though he doesn't have EMS. Now we're gonna take these Renegons and implant them into Sarada who likely now has Master Chakra Control and the Byakugo Seal. She would be absolutely broken. The funny thing is, this isn't even the scary part. If you go back to the war arc when Obito betrayed Madara and fought alongside Kakashi, Madara when thinking about how to kill them said maybe I should get this over with quickly and use Limbo. Then he said no I shouldn't while Obito has the Renegon, which is referring to his left eye. Now why would Madara not use Limbo in front of Obito just because 
because he has a Renegon. Is Tentel's Renegon mother afraid that a weakened half dying Obito would somehow defeat him or his Limbo clones when the Limbo clones are stated to be equal to the user in all aspects? I don't think that's the case. I think it's more likely that Madara didn't want to use Limbo in front of Obito because if he did, Obito would likely become aware of the ability and use it for himself since he also has Madara's Renegon. Now an Obito with multiple Limbos with Renegon, six bad Stalker and Kami hacks along with everyone else on the battlefield, it would have probably been more troublesome for Madara. So if you give Sarada Madara's eyes and she triggers his Renegon, which she would be able to do since Madara was able to activate Obito's Mangekyo and so was Kakashi, it shouldn't be different for the Renegon since it's just another stage to the Sharengan. Now Sasuke wasn't able to deactivate his eye for some weird reason but Madara clearly could as I pointed out earlier. So if Sarada triggers his Renegon and someone just tells her about Limbo, she should be able to just use the ability. Another way you could look at it is that she might gain her own unique Renegon ability. This may sense because all Renegon users seem to gain additional abilities even though they all have Hagoromo's Renegon, in the sense that Madara awakened Hagoromo's Renegon by awakening Hagoromo's Chakra, but he gained a unique ability Hagoromo never displayed which was Limbo. Then we have Sasuke who directly got Hagoromo's Renegon from Hagoromo as stated in the data books but manifested the ability to switch places with an object and the ability to travel through dimensions. Both abilities Hagoromu never displayed. So what this means is that Sarada may unlock a new Renegon ability unique to her when Madara's Renegon mixes with her DNA and mutates, which is my hypothesis on why each Renegon user gains a unique ability even though they all have Hagoromu's Renegon. It's by way of genetic mutation or maybe chakra combination. The only Uchiha who didn't awaken a unique ability upon getting Hagoromo's Renegon was Obito, but he could barely handle the power of the Renegon and opted not to use any of its unique abilities for this very reason. And before anyone says he used Gedomazo, Madara explained that Kid Obito could use Gedomazo because he was an Uchiha with Senju DNA since he had Ashirama cells. The only Renegon ability Obito used was the Outer Path to revive and control the Jin Shurikis earlier on in the war. As it relates to Sarada, these are just Renegon abilities, we don't even know what her Mangekyo ability is gonna be which would be separate from anything she gains from the Renegon, but will be amplified by her having the Eternal Mangekyo Sharengan slash Jubi 6 Paths Hashirama Cell Armed Renegons, in addition to having the Byokugo Seal and 100 Healings. In conclusion, Sarada either gets a unique Renegon and Mangekyo ability or she gets her Mangekyo ability and Limbo. Either way, she will be top tier on the power scale. Either way, I think this is an easy way to scale Sarada above Sasuke, adult Sasuke at full power easily if she gets these Renegon abilities and also the Renegon amp, you know, Hashirama amp and all the other amps that she could get along with um, using 100 healings and Byakugo seal, something Sasuke never had. So I don't think she's gonna get this in part 1. This is more of a part 2 scaling for Sarada because first she needs to actually get the 3 Tomo in the anime, she still doesn't have that but she has it in the manga. So after she gets the 3 Tome Sharengan in the anime, she then gets the Mangekyo Sharengan and then we can look into EMS and maybe transfer all of Dojutsus and all that jazz. So I do think she needs to actually awaken at least the Mangekyo Sharengan before she does any announcements, you know? The only announcement she should be looking into right now is probably the Byakugo seal and 100 healings and stack that onto her base Sharengan and then she can look into taking Madara's Renegons if they're still available. Sarada is by far the hardest to scale up to Otsutsuki level if we don't use this option, this very obvious option using a literal god's dojutsus and eyes. Um, so if they don't do this, I don't know how they're gonna do it. If they don't go this route, they'll have to probably use some scientific enhancements or maybe some genetic enhancements by Orochimaru. But there are multiple ways they can do it but I do think this is the simplest option. Just give her Madara's Jubi and Six Bats and to Renegon eyes and let her awaken her EMS. She will be really powerful. Now does that put her above Ishiki or Ishiki level or maybe above Jigen? Maybe not, you know, maybe her power will lie more in her hack stabilities that she might gain from awakening her Mangekyo Sharengan or maybe getting a new Renegon ability with Madara's Renegon. So, but we'll have to wait and see. With that being said guys, if you guys like the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit subscribe, drop a comment if you have anything to say about the theory itself or any additional things you guys want to add to the theory. I'll reply to you guys and maybe I'll put it in a new video, updated theory video if I do make one. I probably will because Sarada is a very cool character and I haven't really done a lot of videos on her so I'm gonna do that a little bit more going forward. 
forward but yeah if you guys like the video drop a like if you're new subscribe remember to hit that notification bell to be notified when i post new content subscribe to the patreon if you want to support the channel or leave a donation if you're in a generous mood but above all else guys have a good one peace out